Oh my! Ugh, another crazy day. Time to go. I think we have the ability to win this race. We? You haven't let me do anything this race. I've just been dragged along back here. Well, I am the mightier one, much more powerful than you. Well, how would you know? You never let me take control. That's why I can hardly sleep at night. I have too much energy and no way to use it. Maybe I'll let you take control when we're heading to bed. <laughs> <laughs> why, you little... <laughs> Whoa! Mac, what are you doing? You don't treat me with any respect. You don't deserve to win this race. Why would you do this? You could win too. This is exactly the same type of thing you did in our high school homecoming game. You were the one who joined the football team, not me. Then why were you out on the field with us? You think I had the option? Wait. Max, stop! Stop! Look out! Ah! Ah! Oh my back! You don't have one! Why do we try to do anything fun, like literally? Hey, an accident I didn't get hurt in! Oh really? You know, Mighty, none of this would have happened if you'd let me do something for a change. You- You were the one that- Where are you two still arguing? It's too late for this. Oh, I've got plenty of energy to argue, Duncan, considering Mighty hasn't let me lift a- Go to sleep today. now! Oh my. Good. He's actually being quiet now. Actually, I think I just knocked him out. Now we can all get some shut-eye. So long as that we excuse Duke's snoring. Huh? Huh? I don't think it's morning yet, Mac. Mac, why are we moving? Mac, Mac, uh, are you awake? Mac, mm -hmm. uh, Mac. Oh, what's going on? Who's making all that racket? Mighty Max going for late night snacks. Shut it, Peter Sam, or I'll have your head wedged into a dam. Um. Okay. Seriously though, where are you going? I don't know. I feel as I've lost complete control of my wheels. Mac's doing the movement. Well, Mac is very clearly asleep. Well, he has the right idea getting out of here. Y'all's yapping woke me up. I was sleeping like a baby, you know. A baby? I'm sure it's been decades since you've slept like that. Shut, Shut up, up, Peter Sam. Sam. I think Mac has so much energy, he's moving in his sleep. Huh, a lot of energy. I wonder why. Not the time for throwing shade, Rusty. Exactly. There's no sun to create any shadows. And there's also no time to be a smart oh, oh, Picking up speed! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Max, stop! Max, stop! Max, stop! Wake up! Stop moving! Uh, this is why I can't with you, Mac. Like, seriously. Does he know he's floating on air? No, he's flighty, Mac. Hey, comedy is my thing. No, it very much isn't. I'm going back to bed. So, uh, what's the plan with Mighty Mac? Guys, I've seen this in the cartoons. As long as Mighty doesn't look down, he'll be fine. That was one of the stupidest things I've ever heard in my miserable life, Peter Sam. And just to prove it to you... Oh! Quick, everyone, in the Super Cruiser! Why do we own this? Silly Rusty, you know that we need to be compatible with the GOAT range that is Thomas Wood. <laughs> Whoa! Not gonna question how we're alive, just gonna be thankful that we are. And how are you not awake? Heavy sleeper, I suppose. I may not have control of our wheels, but I may be able to jolt us in a certain direction to make us stop. I could use the bump in the doorway. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, that had to have done it. Uh, 
I'm sorry, what? How are you not awake? <sighs> uh, meanwhile... All right, I'd like to thank all of you who came out to help with this mission. We need to stop Mighty Mac before they can get hurt. What ideas do we all have? We can complain so much that he wakes up. We could tell him a wake time story. Or we could sing him a reverse lullaby. Okay, so we all clearly have our own awful, I mean, uh, our own great ideas. We'll just go in numerical order. Sorry, Bertram, you'll have to go last because, oh, I forgot you're old too and fall asleep easily. Anyway, I don't imagine we'll be here long as I have the perfect plan. That being... Basically, the Supercruiser also doubles as our bad merchandisinator. Because Mighty Mac is such peak Thomas merch, I will turn myself into a Trackmaster 2 model so Mac wakes up. That's how powerful the stench of bad merch is. Going by that logic, why not just use Freddy? Screw you. Unfortunately, Freddy is a rare case of a good Trackmaster 2 model. I can't believe I'm saying this as a problem. Alright, I think I'm ready. No, uh, no, Blow, you don't understand the suffering on the other side. Yeah, and uh, he's not listening. Ooh, uh, well, what did you do to my side rods? Ooh. Trackmaster 2 is faster, steeper, and more realistic. That price should be considered a crime, not just a misdemeanor, but like a whole felony. Now Mac will sense bad merch in the area and wake up faster than he would if he heard a gas leak alarm. Skrloo, you would trigger the gas leak alarm. <sighs> Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Here he comes. This is sure to work. <laughs> you know, I am surprised there wasn't an actual Trackmaster 2 Skalowi. Not Turbo Monkey Hyperglow Adventure set is more important. I'm the bravest agent! Before you feel bad, just know we all knew this was gonna happen. Guys, come on. No have to stop for my kicks. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Maybe it's because I didn't lace them. Okay, a wake time story is a bedtime story said in reverse. You speak fluent reverse and knees, but can't come up with a smarter plan. Don't worry, Mighty. Mac will be awake as soon as I bling out the Mighty Crap. Stop right there, PD Sammy. Because so far all of our efforts have been worthless, I... I didn't even bother coming up with a plan. Oh, right, this guy was ticking me off at this point, so I called him a few slurs, said some choice words, then I got arrested for an assault. Freddy has the right idea. You can't resist the sweet taste of a chocolate chip cookie, even in your sleep. Wait, isn't Mac part of the less than 1% of the population that's allergic to chocolate? True, you're right. Guess I can have it. <laughs> what are we doing wrong? Do we not have enough energy? Well, it is 3 a.m. Exactly! Hey, Henry, where did you come from? Upstairs, where literally everybody is trying to sleep. They had to send me down here so you could stop creating so much racket. I told him to be nice about it. I'm surprised he has the energy to yell this late. But Henry, it's easily explained, you see, why things go bump in the night. I don't care for your excuses. Go to sleep, or at the very least, be quiet. Anyway, can I have one of those cookies? Oh yeah, they're up on the counter. What inconsiderate little engines. At least I'm getting a cookie. Whoa! Whoa, puddle! Whoa! Mac, open your eyes! The sink's ahead! <laughs> Mac! Mac! Whoa! 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 Thank you, mighty... Mac? All right, we need to find a different way to help Mighty Mac that isn't just waking Mac up. Now, I still don't know what you all are doing out here at this time. Not even I have the energy to complain this late. But keep doing it. One of your kind saved me from a nasty accident and having to spend the night in a drain. Wait, are you talking about Mighty Mac? Because, uh-oh, good to see you Wasn't awake, asleep, Bertram. Anyway, up. if so, that doesn't make sense because Mac has been asleep. Whether on purpose or not, Everything worked out. He was guided by a conveniently knocked down bottle of chocolate syrup and pushed me away from the sink and to my safety. Wait, it guided him? Then that's it! It's not that to get Mighty Mac to safety, we need to wake Mac up, but rather control Mac. And I know just exactly what we need to control where an engine's going. But we'll need your help, Henry. Well, I suppose it's the least I could do. You're the strongest engine here. I need you to go pick up something for me. Well, here it is. A giant bin of track. 
How don't you move that on your own, big strong Henry? All I had to do was put it on wheels. I don't get it. Why couldn't you just use Stefano? Okay, one, if I go into contact with Stefano, I'll probably turn into a motorized railway engine. And two, I was gonna use Stanley, not you. But he's already serving as Boko's bed frame. Go on, everybody. No more chatting. Let's get to work. Looks mid, guys. At least we have spaces for the old geezers to sleep. Alrighty, everybody. Mighty Mac incoming. And there you go. Thank you. Now that Mighty Mac's on track, they'll be safe till Mac wakes up. Once again, I appreciate you all for taking the time to help us tonight. Even if you had to change up your way of going about this, and perhaps I should make a change too and start letting Mac do some more of the driving, then hopefully this will never happen again. Oh wait, they all fell asleep. Uh, it's a smooth journey now. Might as well get some shun-eye too. Okay, they're all asleep now. Truth is, I've been awake for a couple minutes now, and I heard Mighty's little, uh, monologue. He's said that before, and he's never lived up to it. Don't tell him I told you that, though. I know where you live. 